Yo, what's up, Blue Tape? Um, yeah, I feel like my my mail days are brought to you by Blue Tape. Uh, I guess Old Bay. Love the Old Bay. Um, I opened a lot of my mail yesterday. Um, got to social distance uh, rack attack a friend of mine. Um, he gave me some cards. I gave him some cards that I've been collecting. Um, and I had a few things come in the mail that I thought were for him. And I was right on one, not right on the others. But I know what this is. Um, it's from Andrew O'Gara on Twitter. Um, he's a great guy to deal with. Um, great cards. Mails things quick. I think this is from like a couple days ago. So super fast. And I'm super excited for this card. It is a Frank Robinson Tops 2020 Series 1 SP. Um, look at that bicep. Isn't that crazy? Ripped, Frank. Love you, man. Um, very cool card. Just fantastic. Um, I'm happy anytime I get any Frank Robinsons um, or Brooks Robinsons. Um, but yeah, Frank. Perfecto. Um, put that there. We got a Corey Clement auto off eBay. This is now... Oh, no, that's different from that one. I, at least second one I have. I think third. Uh, I think I have another one in this. I have a pile, Corey Clement. Nope, this is not the same one. It's very similar, but I have two of these now. Um, I have a case they have to go into. I have to break it down from high up and do a lot of other things. Um, and I'm lazy. Um, and I keep waiting until I don't have one in the mail, and I keep spacing them out where I have one in the mail. Braden Shoemake, Bowman Best, Auto. Um, pretty sweet. Um, great card. I think if we ever get back to baseball, eventually they're going to have to use these prospects, and I think he's going to be good. And this came, um, it is Gary Matthews Jr. Archive Signature Series. I believe it's out of 99, the Sarge. Uh, this got free shipping on top of two cards I bought, which were Rookie Card Autos um, Tops 2010, I believe, of Tommy Manziel. Um, and he went to Tulane, which is why I bought them. They're for a friend. Um, so, yeah, that was a friend I gave them to yesterday. But now I'm going to get to what he racked me. Also brought to you by Starbucks, apparently. Um, this is no particular order, because this is probably my almost one of my favorites of the thing. That is an on-card Mickey Tettleton TTM through the mail. Autograph. Um, it's pretty sweet. I've always loved this um, particular upper deck card, um, because I was a big Mickey Tettleton fan. I was a catcher. Um, I s tried to switch it. wasn't very good. Although, the first home run I ever hit was left-handed, and I'm right-handed. So, go figure. Um, but it's just one of the first cards that wasn't really just super Cal focused and it kind of suggested that maybe in fact the Orioles could have better times ahead because the 80s that I grew up in um, post the World Series which I don't remember because I was nine months old um, were not very good not very kind but you got Brady Anderson, Cal, Mickey Tettleton um, a few other folks are on this that are that were pretty good I mean Mike Devereaux had a decent career I mean Steve Finley yikes um, but you know what is what it is, Joe Orso, like Greg Olson was on there. Um, but this was really the, the year before they began to really harness all the folks with Ben McDonald, the Mike Mucinas, uh, and some other pieces coming in to catapult them to be in the mid to late 90s, one of the best teams in baseball who just never could get over the hump. We got a sweet LJ Hose. Um, what is this? Archive? No. Heritage. Otto. Um, he is from Washington, D.C. Washington, D.C. Um, where I uh, live now, um, grew up outside D.C., went to school in D.C. Um, he went to a rival high school from my high school, but he was also Adam Jones's like best friend, and that's cool. Um, I don't know if you all remember, but Jonathan Scope and Manny Machado had a very good relationship, um, best friends. My, my, um, Adam Jones and L.J. Hose also had a very similar relationship. Adam Lowen, auto, upper deck, rookie card. That is pretty sweet. Um had high hopes for him. I believe he's Canadian. Um, and he tried to come back as a hitter, I believe, like a la Ricky and Keel. Um, didn't quite make it. Um, he was one of, yep, he's from Surrey, which is in the British Columbia, which is not owned by the British. British don't really own a lot anymore, do they, huh? Just stupidity. Well, them in America. Shocking. Um, cool. And we've got a Dwight Smith Jr., Gypsy Queen, auto. That's pretty sweet. Um, I like Dwight Smith. He's kind of one of those players that gets, I mean, streaky. I don't know if that's actually true. He appears to be streaky to me where he'll kind of just put on one of those shows where it's, you know, a week of like four home runs. And then you're like, oh, yeah, he's doing good. Then I'll have a couple more games. He gets on base. And then all of a sudden at the end of the month, you're looking at like a 280 on base percentage, six home runs. And you're like, oh, yeah, maybe he's not that good. Um, I like the way he plays, though. He hustles. He's fast. Um, he's got power. He just can't really. His plate discipline isn't the best, but um, hopefully he can take a step forward. Speaking of center field, or the outfield, Austin Hayes. This is a baller of a car in a one-touch. Just 
Tier 1, Austin Hayes, rookie card auto. Let's get you out of there. Free you. Get, ooh, I nicked it. I didn't nick it. Look at that. Nice. I don't own a lot of one touches. I don't mind one touches. I I mean, you just got to spend your money where you can, I think, or where you want to. I'd rather just stick them in things. And um, But then what I didn't know, apparently Tops on their website sells a bunch of like really cool memorabilia card-like items, um, including these 5x7s, which are basically the Topps Heritage World Series. These are number 299. That is Alex Bregman. Did they win the World Series? I don't know. Let me check. No, I don't think they did. Boom. Sorry, Jose. Boom. These are just really awesome. Look at this card. I'm going to have to buy like a F-ton of 5x7s and just put them, not that one, who cares about that, MVP, World Series MVP, put these up, um, I've got a whole bunch, I don't know why I'm pointing, you can't see them, I wonder if I can move this without knocking stuff over, you see, yeah, uh, I closed the window, no I didn't, but if you look over there, you see all of my rally towels from all, I got to go to a lot of playoff games, um, last year I bought into season tickets for the Nationals, Got lucky. I got to go to a World Series game. That was crazy. They lost, obviously, because it was in D.C. Uh, Howie Kendrick. Love Howie. Always loved Howie. Um, who won the World Series again? Was it? Oh, it was them, right? Yeah. Not him? Nope. He lost. He won. He lost. He's not going to win the World Series this, this year either. Screw the Yankees. Sorry, Adam. Um, anyway, this is a quick mail day. I've got a lot of chores to do, uh, but I need to put this stuff away <laughs> in the grand scheme of things. So I figured I'd do that before my cat's knock everything over um peace out guys hope you enjoyed this slightly quick video and listening to me say a bunch of random shit out loud talk to y'all later have good sundays